What you're about to hear are highly disturbing ideas, but we're airing them because they speak to a trend of growing national security concerns. An extremist who was instrumental in getting white supremacists to attend the deadly 2017 Unite the Right rally plans to relaunch his old hate group. And in an interview, Matt Heinbach says he supports violence and killings in what he says is a revolution against rich corporate executives, global elites, and even those who have caused global warming. These people have names and addresses, okay? Their kids have names and addresses, and the capitalist class, by hook or by crook, has to be liquidated. Um, you know, that it's, it's called class war for a reason. Any violence the proletariat brings is simply in self-defense. Some people will say, uh, Matt, Matt Heinbach's off his rocker, and he's, he's advocating for harming, for harming certain people here. How many cities need to be swallowed by the ocean before we could all just look around and say, these specific people did this because they did. What Heimbach is doing is he's lighting a match and he's handing the matchbook to somebody else. Extremism expert Heidi Byrick says this rhetoric is especially concerning coming from Heimbach, who spent years building networks with neo-Nazis and other extremists in the U.S. and internationally. And if he has a large enough audience and he's been in this movement for a long time, there may be somebody out there who picks up this idea and they're going to hear this rhetoric and the scary thing is that somebody might act on it. I'm a political organizer. I know my lane to stay in. If others are moved to take different tactics, I'm not here to condemn them and carry water for the capitalist system. You won't pull the trigger yourself, but you'll 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 applaud if it were to happen. If they did the right thing, wouldn't you? The right thing meaning kill the elites. I mean, wouldn't you? Heimbach was dubbed the Little Fuhrer by the Southern Poverty Law Center as he rose to become one of the most recognizable faces for white nationalism in America. He co-founded the Traditionalist Worker Party in 2015, a neo-Nazi group that advocated for a racially pure white ethno state. White group's members in Heimbach created a coalition of white nationalist groups, showed up at key Nazi events across the U.S., and connected with international extremists. But the group dissolved in 2018. For a time, Heimbach said he was out of the white power movement altogether. But now he plans to relaunch the traditionalist worker party as what he calls a national Bolshevik group that takes inspiration from Marxism in China and targets global elites. Of course, this doesn't mean he's abandoned all of his beliefs from his neo-Nazi days. Do I particularly like, like Judaism as a religion? No. The increased violence from racially and ethnically motivated violent extremists over the past few years has governments around the globe concerned. Last week, top U.S. State Department officials and their counterparts in the U.K., Germany and Norway launched a new global effort to thwart the extremism. The United Nations Security Council Counterterrorism Committee recently reported a 320 percent increase in extreme right wing terrorism globally in the five years prior to 2020. Large-scale attacks have occurred in Norway, in New Zealand, in Germany, and in the U.S., to name a few. And with many of these attacks, the perpetrators have drawn inspiration from each other. And Heimbach named former presidents and the current one among those who someone should hold accountable. George W. Bush should go on trial. Barack Obama should go on trial. Donald Trump should go on trial. Joe Biden should go on trial. But when the system doesn't arrest or do put these people on trial there are names and addresses and and i will not be i, I mean i'm not a soldier right uh, i will not be ordering anyone to do anything uh but i will not condemn revolutionaries that uh you know stand in their own self-defense matt where do you draw the line i mean is it okay to to, to kill the president i'm gonna plead the fifth on that one but pleading the fifth is when you when you want to not incriminate yourself you don't just oh you got it you got it, but I'm I'm not touching that one. But why not just say, no, that's not OK? Well, I'm not a liar, so I'm just not going to touch it. Because Heimbach is a longtime influencer among extremists, Heidi Byrick says this rhetoric is dangerous. We've had so many lone wolf attacks coming from people who will presumably be in Heimbach's audience that this is just a tinderbox, right, that he's ignited. Law enforcement probably needs to know about what Matt Heimbach is up to. This isn't something now where if you ignore it, it's going to go away. Mark Greenblatt, Newsy, outside Washington, D.C.